Top 10 Accidents in Metal Smelting Number 10 Slag Explosions Slag or metal waste is the waste material after ore purification that will not be used in the metal processing. Though there has been a progress in recycling this waste material in the last years, a significant portion of it is still stored as dump in special containers placed in big holes on the ground. At least 24 hours are needed for slag to become solid and be disposed of. We must point out that after that time, waste is still red hot. A problem from this action could be when due to several factors, when metal impurities mix with water, for instance, a big explosion can occur. In addition, just a little amount of liquid is enough to start deflagration. Slag also brings other hazards to workers. They are less visible though. In some occasions, they emit toxic gases that could be lethal if workers do not have the proper protection. Number nine. Electric arc furnaces. The electric arc furnaces have been substituting traditional furnaces in many steel plants worldwide. The main reason for this substitution is their high effectiveness when producing metal from ore. For example, in more advanced workshops, these types of furnaces may produce up to 80 metric tons of liquid steel in just 60 minutes of functioning. To heat steel, an electric current going from one electrode to another is used. Despite the fact that these types of furnaces are considered much safer than the former ones, they are not free from risk. They must be cooled with water and any little mistake when introducing the electrodes into them or any rest of the moisture on them could produce an explosion. This is what seems to happen in the video. When it is very hot, we can hear small explosions and they continue to increase until a bigger explosion occurs. Another explanation for this explosion may be any mechanical human error when introducing electrodes that have been overheated or that generate sparks. In arc furnaces for cast steel, electrodes are put into on top of the tank and it is not always easy to do it properly. On the other hand, accidents, like the one in this video, can occur. In this case, the problem may be caused by the amount of slag in the furnace. This material behaves similarly to volcanic lava. Flames are spread everywhere, and in the end, all content is spread all over the place. Number 8. Explosion in the Boiler Boilers are very important in the metal industry. They are defined as closed pressure vessel where a fluid is heated by applying the resulting heat externally. There are diverse types of boilers with different characteristics depending on their structure and way of functioning. In general, they are elements that involve several safety measures, but when they fail, serious accidents may occur. The most serious accidents can produce dangerous explosions. One of the main causes of these explosions is the low level of water that's needed to cool the boiler. The overheating of the structure causes deflagration and a subsequent disaster. All boilers must have at least two indicators for water levels. Accidents are normally produced by human error in the maintenance of this device. Another possible cause for accidents is the corrosion of the material they are built with. And of course, when water is mixed with the boiler content. Number seven. One of the hazards to be considered in the metal industry is fire. Fire increases the possibilities for accidents to occur. There are several causes for a fire to be started in these factories. The first cause to be considered is static electricity. This is originated by surface friction and it can be accumulated until it begins to produce sparks that will start the fire. Another cause of these accidents is heat generation by machines. The flammable liquid and the liquids used for cooling these machines may be a cause for these accidents. We can also point out as causes of fire are the overheating of electricity conducting cables and the spontaneous combustion of chemical products produced by high temperatures that are usually common in these factories. Experts also emphasize the use of oils to lubricate or cool the machines. These oils are in many occasions the responsible for the start of fires. 
they also contribute with their fast spread and very dangerous toxic smokes. Number 6. Moisture. Water entry or just simple moisture in the boiler can produce very dangerous explosions that could put at risk the workers' integrity in the metal industry. Liquid steel can reach 1,500 degrees Celsius, and when water makes contact with it, everything put together can explode. It is important to know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Therefore, when water is mixed with the metallic material, it starts to boil violently. It is important to bridge the gap, as when a drop of water falls onto boiling oil, but considering that water expands 1,700 times when it transforms into steam. This causes explosions in closed spaces. This effect can be seen perfectly in this video. The liquid has entered the boiler and it blows up violently. It is about accidents that often occur in autumn and winter where there is more moisture in the environment. Besides this, water can enter into the boiler accidentally by a break in it. Similarly, these accidents are likely to happen when the machine has not been preheated properly. Number 5. Dumping and Slag We cannot consider the slag dumping as an accident, but the consequences of this action can be very negative. Slag, or waste, originate from ore smelting to purify metals. It is about waste residues of this process, and it is a mixture of metallic oxides. In some occasions, it also contains metal sulfides. At present, slag storage and later treatment is assessed. Most of it can be reused for diverse commercial use, while another part is dumped in special areas. The problem arises when some industries located in countries that are disrespectful with the environment dump these wastes into the natural areas, or when by any accident they end up out of the dumping grounds, causing damage to soil and rivers as it happened in Hungary. On the other hand, according to ecologists, even though the slag is dumped in authorized areas, it always causes high pollution, reaching fields and water that are far away from the area it was dumped. Number 4. Steel Casting Ladle Break Broadly speaking, the steel casting ladle is a tool used in the metal refining and casting. It is used to transport and pour the red-hot metal. They are made of steel and have a refractory lining to withstand high temperatures. Lately, it has become a metallurgic reactor. This has obviously expanded not only their capacity, but increased the possibility for accidents to occur. As you see in this video, the workers driving the crane made a mistake that fortunately did not cause damage. Moreover, when pouring the metal cast, the ladle adjustment may fail and accidents may occur. This happened in Huachipato, where an explosion took place. To finish it, it is important to point out that sometimes there may be mechanic failures in the steel casting ladles due to poor maintenance in the fireproof lining. High temperatures of metals may damage the ladle when the cast metal is poured into it. In those events, workers are exposed to high risk as dangerous fires can suddenly be started. Number 3. Molten Metal Splashes one of the most common risks in metal smelting are the splashes of molten metal. It is in fact one of the points for risk prevention. This is because of the relative frequency of an event like that. It also may bring very serious consequences for workers. As an example, iron and derivative alloys, such as steel, can reach a melting temperature of about 1,700 degrees Celsius. One of the causes often pointed out by the experts is the electrolytic reduction. This is a method to eliminate oxygen from metallic oxides through electrolysis. This method may originate small explosions. Obviously, a splash at that high of a temperature can cause serious injury. That's why the selection of fabric to make the protective suits is very important, as these suits could protect and save lives. Number 2. Eruptions in metal casting centers. The steel smelting activities are riskier than other industrial activities. One of the causes is, in fact, the high possibility for explosions to occur. 
a very risky event is the metal casting process. This process consists of pouring the smelted metal into a cast for it to become solid. One of the causes in this process for an explosion to occur is water and any component involved in the process. For instance, rest of water in the sand used to make temporary casts. Additionally, casts must be preheated to avoid any hazard. If there is liquid in any of the other pieces, this could also cause deflagration. There is a common saying known by the workers of the steel smelting activities. This saying warns, too hot to touch, it is wet. Number 1. Fire loops or cobble. In spite of its showiness, this kind of accident can be lethal for workers who are near. The temperature of this kind of molten metal loops is extremely high. These loops are capable of causing very serious injuries to anyone who is reached or touched by them. It could be said that these loops are sort of a spill of the smelted metal. This phenomenon happens when metal is heated and it is put onto rollers to change its shape and send it to a conveyor machine. As a result of a timing error in the process, the metal is ejected at a very high speed from its way in the rollers. It is necessary to take into account that these rollers leave less room among them the way the process is in progress. This is why they get this strange shape and fall forming, burning circles. We can see an example in this factory in Poland. We can see perfectly the moment when the metal is shot out from the rollers and forms a big ring of molten metal. Fortunately, there are not workers nearby when this happens, as there are no protective suits to resist the high temperature of these loops. 